everyone, I'm Louis Ipera back on Hero TV. We had so much fun last time that I couldn't have enough. So I decided that I should go get another interview with, with Mr. Gates and with more questions. Oh, it's me again, Hero TV. I also had a ton of fun with you guys being able to share some things about me and the world. Okay, Mr. Gates, let's get right into it. All right, ask whatever you want. So the first question, I would like to ask you, that your mother had an illness, is that right? Yes, my mother experienced cancer and finally passed away in 1994. My dad, on the other hand, is thankfully still alive and is an astonishing 98, 94 years old. He's a tower compared to me with a height of six foot seven. Oh wow, that's a long time. And sorry for your mother, but next up the audience wants to know who inspired you in your career? Nice one. I was inspired by a guy named Ed Roberts who, in the, 19, in the 1970s, made a build-it-yourself kit called the Altair 8800 computer. That is what made me build my own company. And after that is when I made Microsoft on April 4, 1975. Oh, that's good to know. So up next, this question is a little deep, but we want to ask you, does saving lives lead to overpopulation? All right, so before I answer your question, I'm going to tell you that the amount of growth each year is less than the amount of kids getting saved or alive each year. So this means that even if I save children, there are some people that don't want children or get killed. And that concludes that there may be a chance of overpopulation, but the way it's going right now, not very likely. Wow, nice to know some people aren't getting children due to overpopulation. Next up, I want to ask you, why don't you give more money in the USA? Okay, so we do give over $500 million to the USA each year, but we do give $4 billion to developing countries because we think countries like Ghana or some others in Africa need more help. Now we know, let's go with our final question for the second interview. What is the biggest obstacle that developed world needs to overcome in order to help the developing world? The greatest tragedy is kids who die or not get enough food to develop physically and or mentally to help achieve their potential. We need vaccines and nutrition to solve this. We are making progress, but not fast enough. Finally, the biggest barrier is scientism. Like I stated, that was our last question. So we again had a great time, especially for media learning. Thank you so much, Mr. Gates. Oh yes, true. And also thank you so much for having me. No problem. Thank you. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching our second episode for our interview with Mr. Gates. I'm Louis Ipera on Hero TV, and I'm out again.